go to be Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. I want us to talk about building the house of worship or a place of worship. Hallelujah. Praise King Jesus. Building the house of worship. We understand that in New Testament, the house was transformed and was changed from a physical place to a spiritual place. But even if in New Testament, the worship is now in the spirit and in the truth, still that spirit needs a house. Are we together? That spirit needs a house. And also, that truth needs, because truth is a person. Truth, hallelujah. We say truth is a person. Number two, we say spirit is a person. Are we together? So the spirit needs a habitat, a place to stay, to live. And that's why the house has to be physical. Are we together? And that's why it says your body is the temple of God, of, God, of the Holy Spirit of God. So he needs a physical place. And that physical is now what we are calling flesh. You must. Praise the Lord. Flesh. So the Holy Spirit needs a physical residence, a physical place. And that physical place is your body. So somebody said, this body is not me. I am the spirit. I have the soul. I live in the body. Hallelujah. You live in the body. Are we together? So because you live in the body, then it means that also you yourself, or we ourselves, now we are everyone here who is born again, you are a headquarter of worship. Now when we gather all of us together, we shall again need to give this physical, because you see, your body is the house, but you still have given your body another house. Where you sleep. Mulilana go wanya. Everybody had a place where you call a home, a house, a plot, where you stay. So you also have another house which is also physical so that it can give another residence to this residence, this body. Hallelujah. So this body is a residence, a habitat for God. And then you also need to give this habitat of God a habitat. Let me use it simple English. This body is a house. And it is housing God. Yes. Hallelujah. And you also need to give this house of God a house. And that house will also house this body. And that's why now, even here, being the body of Christ, you being the body of Christ, all of us having made our bodies to be the house of God, we have this physical house you are seeing here. So that it can contain us inside. So that whether it rains or not, we are safe. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise in Jesus. Amen. So, you cannot build the house of God until or unless you become, you yourself, you become the house. Because having become the house, I will see the need for the next thing. When is this first time? So the reason why people are struggling, let me tell you, even, even when you come to these physical churches, Zila says I'm about to Mejenga Madehebu, hallelujah, places of worship. You, you walk outside there, us included, I'm not ex exempting us, us included. You will walk outside there, you find a church which is called Big Name. Kingdom Dominion, I don't know, Kingdom Impactus International Ministry. Lakini mefungwa na 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 tent. Wamefunga uko na kitamba. Wamechukua baka biko iza mama. Wamefunga at least so that they can have a shed. But it's called kingdom impacting. What kind of kingdom are you impacting? Hallelujah. You find a church which is called kingdom miracle power distributing and disbursement international ministry. They are disbanding. Miracles, dispersing miracles. <clears throat> Even when Rupert is struggling to, to disperse money on county and uh, for to county uh, governments, these people are dispersing all the miracles. But they have failed 
just to distribute one miracle for themselves to build. Have you seen these churches? You find what you, it's called international church, and you look at how it looks like, and then you say, if this is international, watch it, let me remain local. One is a special. Are we together? Yes. So there is a need for us to see the need to stand by the vision of God. He says, where are people, where there's no vision, people perish. Where there's no vision, people perish. Are you perishing for lack of wisdom? For lack of knowledge? Now, let me show you the knowledge here. Hallelujah. Let me show you the knowledge here. If God is the honor of glory, and if in God we find glory, then you will agree with me. You have had, even here, some of you are very dirty. You are looking terribly terrible. Somebody could relate to a chimpanzee sometimes back. Or a zombie. But when you received Christ, He beautified you. He made you so beautiful. He made you so handsome to an extent that when somebody looks at you, they admire you and they want to look like you. But by us, that somebody here wants just to reflect you because he looks awesome. But it's as well. And that's why Jesus is here to beautify us. Now my question is, how will Jesus beautify you and then you don't beautify his environment in which you are meeting with him for worship and for interaction with him for levels? Hallelujah. So it means that we need to come to a dimension where we beautify Jesus. So that we don't just say, Bwana Yesu, wana meremeta. Lakini mahala baku na mambia na meremeta, when you look at it, it looks like a manger. And we justify ourselves, even Jesus was born in a manger. Bwana Yesu was first. Let us read Haggai chapter 1, verse 2 to verse 10. Haggai chapter 1 from verse 2 to verse 10 in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Haggai chapter 2 Haggai chapter 2 verse, verse 2 to verse 10 oh, let, Let's start from verse 1 There's no need to skip verse 1 Haggai chapter 1 from verse 1 Chapter 1, chapter 1, chapter 1. You are giving me chapter 2. Agai, chapter 1. Let me just begin from verse 2. Shall we read? Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, These people say, The time is no time. The time that the Lord's house should be lived. Now, I want us to read and to be so alive on this. Hallelujah. Are we together? Shall we read now? Thus speaketh the Lord of us, saying, These people say, The time is not come, the time that the Lord's house should be built. Ask your neighbor. Give me this way, that verse. Ask your neighbor. Are you among those people we are talking about here? Are you among those people we are talking about here? Uliza Mandako, are you among? Are you among those people who are saying you are cut your kujanga kumba mungu battle? Hallelujah. Can we read? He didn't leave you as a mother of Bwana mwenye mungu zote. Hawa watu usema, wakati haujawadia wakujenga nyumba ya Bwana. Ulisa mwenzako, uwe unawana umewadia ama ba? Hallelujah. Mwenize? Hey, ask somebody. Somebody should ask me somebody. Hallelujah. Mulize, are you bad or not? Because we in Mungu anasema, how watu wanasema? Na muulize na wana sema nini? Every time in the Bible when Jesus, even Jesus, when he was talking, he could ask them, what is the people's opinion about me? But lazima na wana and what is about you? What about your opinion? Hallelujah. So it's not, you not just be, 
hao watu wanasema wakati wa kujengea Mungu bado na natunyamaze kwa lazima tukuulize na wewe tiko unasemaje kwa hiyo kipengele ni wakati wa kujenga begin makofi hivi ndivyo asemavyo bwana mwenye nguvu zote hawa watu husema muulize je kweni mmoja hao watu Haleluya. Tunaenda kujua kama ni mmoja wao hapana. Wakati haujawadia wa kujenga nyumba ya Bwana, let me ask you church nani mazili. Is it time to build for the Lord or not? It's time. Haleluya. Give me next verse in English. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Haleluya. Next verse in English. Then the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai. So let me become I'm not the prophet but now it will come from me. Praise the Lord. Because I'm now the Haggai of the time. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Then the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai. Next verse. Is it a time for you yourself i i wish you were reading all of us together don't be don't, don't let me remind you to read because you have your screens right hallelujah mm -hmm. is it a time for you yourselves to be living in your paneled houses while this house remains in a ruin praise the lord is it in your house when it is raining even when it is raining cats and dogs i don't know where that english came from because I don't know uh, if cats rain and dogs. But even if it's raining, it's raining a cats and dogs. Do you start changing things in your house? Do you? Why should we be doing the same in the house of God? Why? He's asking the same question. Ni wakati nini kukaka is it time? Ask your neighbor, is it time? I know kuna watu hapa. Mkwana marafiki wazuri sana ambao mnatamani wakuje church wasikie haya mafundisho waone hii baada ambayo iko malafa lakini unasema na hujawahi niambia na hujawahi kuambia na unajiambia tu mimi ngoja tujenge nilete bwana hii 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 bila iko inazania the house is in total desolation and we need to build the house of the lord hallelujah so god is saying vile tu unakaa kwa kwa nyumba vizuri hallelujah Vile tu uko na screen nzuri kwa nyumba hata kanisa inahitaji screen nzuri. Now are you aware that screen yako yenye kwa nyumba hiyo haikusaidii sana kwanza inakuletea stress. Because uki, ukifungua TV hivi tax imefika 16%. Haleluya. Uko na watu kuna sema acha nisizima lakini acha nijipe shughuli. Lakini hata ujipe shughuli haichoki. Ukifungua unasikia leo masaya alfajiri gari imegonga watu ikawa watu 52 kule rondiani hii kazi yangu alikuwa kwa safari anakuja sasa hii mako mako ako kwa hiyo gari ya mani ukifungua kidogo breaking news watu wamepatikana shaka hola look at how the, the, that screen is bringing you negative 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 informations come to the house of god look at the same same screen and see what it is telling you now he is telling you on your very same screen hallelujah even when the economy is tough don't touch oil and wine it gives you hope when citizen gave you a lot of hopelessness the same it is in the house of god playing a different role giving you hope and victory Amen. meaning that everything we have in our houses we need to have them where in the house of god so that we can use them to wash god moses said we are not going to leave anything 
za ngombe yetu tunaenda nazo because tunaenda kutumia vitu zetu kumwabudu Mungu. Hallelujah. So we need to use our money, our resources, everything we have to worship God. Tell your neighbor stop being mean. Keep your word. Be a person who keeps your word. If we learn to keep our words to God, we are going to build and we are going to standardize our worship. We are going to have everything necessary for our advancement of worship. Praise King Jesus. We don't need white men to come to church in order to, 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 make, to beautify the church. White men are just as we are. In fact, we are not quite. What are teaching about the part about Adam? Hallelujah. Praise King Jesus. Is it time for you, O oh ye, to dwell in your uh, sealed houses and this house lie west? Next verse. Now therefore, thus say the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Tell somebody consider your ways. I want you to tell somebody, consider how you have been serving God. Please, just consider the way you have been serving God. To talk to somebody, you know, even as you are talking to him, also consider your ways as well. Consider how you are serving God. Hallelujah. Now therefore, thus say the Lord of hosts, this is God himself saying, Consider your ways. Next verse. Consider your ways. You have sown much and bring in little. You eat, but you have not enough. You drink, but you are not filled with drink. You clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes. Why are these things happening? Because we are not prioritizing God and the functionalities of the kingdom in the house of God. So he says, you earn, you sow a lot. You have used 20,000 to, 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 to plant your maize. And then you come to reap 4,800. Is that profit? Now, have you what on loss or on profit? Definitely. Why? And bring in little. You eat, but you are not enough. There is also a problem here. If you are gluttonous, say amen. <laughs> we have gluttons. Hallelujah. We have gluttonous people. Even while they are eating, I don't know what So, you eat, but you are not filled. You are not satisfied. Sometimes people are not satisfied because of what we are now seeing here. But you are not filled with the drink. You clothe. But there is none of them. Yani unavam baga majahit kubwa. Lakin baru nasikia baribu. Baneza spesa. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes. Unajua mifuka ya watu utoboka na nagani? Wakati unapata pesa. Somebody told me sometimes back, so many years back actually. Pastor, I thank God because any time I earn money, that's when my people get sick. Hapuna mtasikia mwombe mkula mwende jirani mbani. Yana mungu ajawai, mungu arusu, huwa arusu ingiko madeni. Ama mungu, huwa arusu, niende kwa kesi. Shile na fagika nikio na pe, na lipa, na baki gure lakini tumemaleza. Nikipata pesa hivi, Jo, jo, mchoto sijui nini nafanyika. Nika mambilo ni pepo, my friend. Wewe ume, ume, fungulia shetana nyumba yako. Because unafau pata pesa, zifanya nini? Zikusaidie. Sia tu kipata pesa, na shida zinakuja. That is not the will of God. That is not. How far you pata pesa, ziende kwa mikosi. Pata pesa, zifanya nini? Zikusaidie. And then I, I taught him. Now you see? Jo hii hapa sasa. 
Unapata pesa unaika kwa mfuko mfuko inachoboka inaingia kwa magonjwa inaingia kwa case mara sijui you are and just a swallow the spoon hakuzo die yani kamkoz kana fanyika tu yote ile and the doctor is saying for for us to move this spoon we need 50000 and your salary is 55000 you remain with 5000 next time she will not swallow the spoon She will even a plate. As long as you have the salary, something has to happen. To put it into a bag with the holes. I have next verse, back of verse 10. That says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways, Merudi Yuma. Go up to the mountain and bring wood and build the house and I will take pleasure in you. And I will be glorified, save the Lord. Remain there. Shall we read this verse? I don't know why you are waiting me to tell you next week. It means you are not following me. Go up to the mountain and bring wood and build the house. And I will take pleasure in it. And I will be glorified, save the Lord. What will make God to take pleasure in our worship? When we go to the hardware, hallelujah. When we go to the market and buy the necessities, the required things for the structure to be raised, go and bring wood, go and bring, hallelujah. Bring a little chuma, go and bring. And then, when you bring and build, now I will take pleasure where he need, and I will be. Glorify, says the Lord. God deserves to be glorified. We are worshippers to glorify Him. Hallelujah. And as we glorify Him, also the environment glorifies Him as well. Are we together? So if the environment is in a, a, a dilapidated situation, and uh, we are saying we glorify You, You are worthy, You are worthy, but even the place is not demonstrating the worthness of the one we are worshiping it is an insult to god what is first person do you think heaven is very dirty do you think so the way he has put that's why he says when we pray say you are will be done on earth as it is where because there everything is perfect perfection 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 what is first person so let the will of god be done here in this place of worship as it is done you know in heaven unasikia kuna vitu ambavyo ziko huko ziko na word it's called more worthy at a biblical gold hallelujah more worthy what is this person so go up to the mountain tell somebody we go to go to the mountain and do you know what is the mountain i will bless the words of your hands that place where you go to earn ten bob that is your mountain the mountain here is not identical with mlima muombe mukifunga each year kwa ta mlima na kuombe ni umefanya watu wote wamekoa samaria unauliza mtu who are you anakwambia i'm a christian but in the real sense he is a samaritan ni msamaria because of samaria walikuwa na kutwa kwa mlima so wewe unasema ni mkristo na umekoa mlima kwa msamaria you don't want to come to worship where in the spirit and in truth so come lima lakini corona kwe next verse you look for much and lo it came to little and when you brought it home i did blow upon it nilipuliza ikapotea when is the same when you don't prioritize god in your things That's why all opportunities you have things are blown out. Unashangaa namna gani? What is this person? There is a secret in what we call favor. There is a secret in what we call favor. Favor can locate you and favor can make you to have 5000 but you do great things with 5000 than a person who has 50000 when you look at what they are doing it is a chase after the wind. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Some of these people when you go to their houses unaangalia kuna wanaka unaangalia nyumba zao they are so great. 
mpaka ukiingia unasema ah huyu yule hana kaa anakaa lazima mshahara wake bila nyumba anakaa haiwezi kuwa chini ya 70000 haiwezi kuwa chini ya 70000 lakini ukimuuliza atakwambia ah mshahara wake na kwanza 12000 anasema uongo uongo anakwanga muongo uongo uongo because you don't know the secret so the secret is not the salary the secret is your identity in him and how devoted are you to considering his ways to considering doing his work praise king jesus we need to understand this hallelujah that's why he's teaching us so much about sacrifice if we don't learn to sacrifice ourselves to god to offer our bodies living sacrifices to sacrifice our finances our opportunities our money our resources our time then we are not valuing god the only way you can value god is through worshiping him praising him showing him his worthiness and not just showing him showing him his worthiness and when he looks at what you have shown him as his value and he looks at what you have done to evaluate his value he says indeed you are a true worshiper hallelujah but you cannot tell him you are great you are great you are great in me and you you, you be great in me you have given me glory and when he looks at your environment of worship he doesn't see that glory that's why jesus says they worship me with their mouth but their hearts are far away from me hallelujah why are their hearts far away from him because what they are telling him is not what they are ready to do hallelujah what they are telling him is not what they are ready to do you looked for much and lo it came to little and when you brought it home i did blow upon it why says the lord of hosts because of my house that is waste and you run every man unto his own house my house looks funny and yet your houses are so standardized every day you think how are you are going to buy a fridge the other day you, you just bought i don't know come and microwave the other day you just bought and when we ask you for the for the last 12 months what kind of sacrifice have you ever offered to the house of god just in the house in the ministry in church to support when you look i don't know you know the same mean i want to say that mwaka hii inafika 500 kama nimeenda sana 500 yani how many how many days do we how many months do we have in a year 12 months assuming that for those 12 months we have every assuming that we only have four sundays four sundays every month could have given five sundays so you multiply that with with those 12 months and see and then evaluate your god we need to be making sense hallelujah so we need to evaluate We need to come to a dimension where we value our God. Hallelujah. Praise King Jesus. You look for much and lo it came to little and when you brought it home I did blow upon it. Why? Say the Lord of hosts because of my house that is worth and you run every man unto his own house. Praise King Jesus. So it really fascinates God so much when we value the place of worship hallelujah and i know even when we are talking about building a cathedral here somebody was asking and somebody is still asking but you have a good church wewe umetoka nje umeiona vile nakaa tell somebody stop being a zoom and think big think big you need to think big hallelujah give god a value hallelujah give god the value we say christ in me hope of glory so that hope of glory has to be manifested has to be has to be seen by people are we together somebody hallelujah next verse therefore the heaven over you is stay from you when we talk about the word dew and many times i've said we shall learn about the dew it's called dew of morning hallelujah and uh, i know we have people who ambao uh, uh, in science mumeelewa mume when we talk about the dew and at what time does the dew begin to form the dew begins to form in the evening in the cool of the day 
when the sun is setting. And there's always a reason for that. I think uh, this shall be a topic for another day. But the word due in the Bible, it means divine blessings. Spiritual divine blessings. Because that is when the dew begins to form. And then, midnight, you say, ukikama hali chioni, na muda yanze kwenda, and then, ni yanze kukuja, utapata kuna unyevu nyevu pale mali umekazi. Ni kweli? Because the process of dew formation has begun. Praise the Lord. And then, ukiamuka subuhi sasa, unapata, ibafa nini? Imeja everywhere. There's a time when we used to go to school in primary. Ulukuna amuka umechelewa. Unava chochote kumbele bora tu ya juu kwa ni uniform. And then utanawa ule mbele. So unafio kwa juu kwa nyasi unafani. Unamaliza umeenda zaku. So sometimes you could even do that without knowing somebody has just done his work there while he was going. Na ya mekele majingina basi yu ya juu. So, that is how, so when you hear the dew, when he, he says he will withdraw dew, that is divine blessings, the, the spirit. Hallelujah. The spirit. That's why God tells uh, Ishmael, uh, no, not Ishmael, sorry, God tells Esau when he's telling his father Isaac, have you remained with a few blessings for me? When he came, it was too late, because Jacob had taken all the blessings. And then he tells him, I've blessed you, you are your brother, but I still have something I'll give you. You will live away. You will live for a sword and away from the dew. Meaning that you will not be at the proximity of the Holy Ghost. And that's why even today, Muslims are always against the Holy Ghost. By the way, season of Islam, we agree from the book of Genesis. Are you aware? Mbaka Malaka. To Kianza Matthew, we depart. Hallelujah. And remember, when we were learning about the, the, the two women, you realize that one woman, the one woman Sunai Kule, and a betray, and a persecute the, the younger one, and by you are Jerusalem. Because there is a reason there. So therefore the heaven over you is stayed from you. So there will be no divine blessings. Hallelujah. The spiritual blessings, they are withheld. And the earth is stayed from her fruit. So there is no productivity. There is no productivity. Just because of that. Hallelujah. So tell somebody, let God release the dew, the morning dew yes, to all of us. Yes. Divine blessings. Yes. Hallelujah. Let us learn to do the work of God. So without being a real house of God, you will not be able to, you won't see the need to build the house, the place of worship. Hallelujah. You won't see the need. You will not. May, may the grace of God be upon you. You know, uh, there's a time we were learning about the seven spirits. <coughs> Hallelujah. There is seven satanic spirits, and then there is seven spirits of God. So we learned about the seven spirits of God, and then we came to unveil the seven satanic spirits. How many of you can remember that topic? It's uh, some, some time back, several years back. Hallelujah. And then there is a spirit called, among the seven, there's a spirit we call the Jebusite spirit. Hallelujah. What did we talk about the Jebusite spirit? What is that spirit? The spirit of? The spirit of suppression and manipulation. Hallelujah. The Jebusite spirit is the spirit of suppression and manipulation. And then when we went to read, we realized that uh, there is a man, a man called uh, uh, a man called if you remember a man called You have forgotten him. Yes? Eh? We never see a here. Just talk. Eh? When we talk about the Jebusite spirit, what comes in your mind? David? Yeah, that's somebody. Arauna. 
And you forget too soon. I don't know, that's wrong. So there's a, a man called Arauna. So when you read, the Bible says, and now a, a, a man called Arauna, the Jebusite. So the word, the Jebusite, that is where the point is. The point is not on Arauna. The fact that he's mentioned Arauna, the, the word Jebusite in that story is revealing the purpose, the intentions of Arauna. So in the Bible says, and now a man called Arauna, the Jebusite, told King David that I will give you this land for free. Are we together? So that you can build an altar for the Lord. And then David tells him, I will not take it for free because I cannot build a, a, an altar for God without taking the cost. I cannot build something that costs me nothing for God because for me to work, for me to build a house for God, it must have cost me. I must have spent in God some uh, uh, an expenditure from my pocket. Hallelujah. When you see pastors who want who want to be burdens, hallelujah. And you are very stupid buying those things. You are very stupid. Idiot. Because how can you? We may make mafuta. mafuta. I not, I not, I not stupid. I not stupid. So this is a matter of that. Are you really wise? <laughs> so they are using shortcuts to enrich themselves out of your ignorance. My people perish for lack of knowledge, and we realize knowledge is a person. Hallelujah. Let me give you something to understand here. What is wisdom? Wisdom is a gift from God. What is knowledge? Knowledge is the acquisition of information. What is understanding? Understanding is the ability to execute the knowledge you received. So how is it? And, 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 in, and in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 30 it says, Christ has become unto us wisdom. He is our wisdom. Now, if you are very wise, why would a pastor, why would pastor Mtai come here? To lie to you that when you sow a seed, you will reap a miracle. Unezade pada maindi uvuna ndeko. I think if you sow a seed, you should reap a seed. So you should be telling the pastor, I'm coming to sow 10,000. Please, I want to reap here right now. 20. 20k passes. I eat. The land of catch fire. Because it's a lie. But it's a special. So, why? I was asking the other day, Bishop uh, uh, Manasseh. Somebody tells you, and you know, they normally go to uh, Second Kings, chapter 2, verse, verse 19. And these people told me, Can you give me, please? Give me on the screen. Give me on the screen. Second Kings chapter 2, verse 19. See what these people told Elijah. You can read from your own time, but I just want to, to read that one to explain something here. So that we don't build the places of worship, cathedrals, using fraud. Hallelujah. That is wrong. Are we together? Can we read? And the men of the city said unto Elijah, Behold, I pray thee, the situation of this city is pleasant, as my Lord seeth. But the water is not, and the ground barren. Next verse. Uh, uh -huh. And he said, Bring me a new cruise, and put salt therein, and they brought it to him. And then, Ukiendelea nasema, Akachukwe yotumvi, akayoweko yobakuli, akamwaga wapi. And then productivity And so we took that, and then now it is in the church. No, no. Pastor has made an altar call. Now gonna cancel here. What are you serious? Are you being preserved? <laughs> Hallelujah. But now Matthew 5 13. Because now Jesus corrects that, he brings it to light. Because it was a typology. Hallelujah. 
Elisha is communicating something in typological language. It is a shadow. But now in Matthew 5, 13, now God says, Jesus says, are we there? Uh -huh. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt wherewith shall it be salted, it is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. We are the salt of the world. So whatever Elisha is doing is a typology. He is communicating something to come. He is prophesying about something to come. Hallelujah. Now Christ says, we are the salt of the world. And if the salt loses its flavor, its saltiness, it has no any value. Hallelujah. Meaning what? Today, you don't need, I don't have to throw salt on you. Hallelujah. You yourself, you are the salt. And the Holy Spirit in you.